Right. So for example, oh, let's get to it. All right, welcome to Our Corner. I'm Brother Raven, Kalam, and our new Brother Lewis. Brother Lewis here. Let's get it. Right, we're going to start today's topic, going straight into it. Very important one. Should black people care? So let's say in, in the UK, or anywhere, but if we use UK as, as, as an idea. Should black people in UK care about black people in other lands? Kalam says, Shy, you want to get me to trouble straight off the bat? You can't even. Then what? You can't even just. Yeah. Okay, I will tell you why I say. Break it down. In the past, I have been an activist. I have protested. I have spoken out. Right. Concerning what we consider to be black or darker-skinned individuals right. being oppressed by other people. Right. Right. So, slavery in the Arab world, etc. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I don't know, six years, five years, I don't know, however long ago I was in the park, we spoke about that, right? Right, right, right. And I'm saying that was Callum 1.0. 1.0. Yeah? Callum 2.0, yeah, is breaking away from that. Okay. About not, not to say I don't care about other black people yeah. in other lands. Yeah. I'm saying my main focus mm. is not towards right. black people in Makes other sense. lands, but to black people in this country. And the reason why is I feel as though I can actually initiate and have an impact and, and, and affect change in this country. Yeah. Other countries. Very good response, right? Mm -hmm. Now we're going to add to that. We're going to say, okay, if, 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 if in another land mm -hmm. there's a non-black person yep. who's facing some kind of challenge mm -hmm. and a black person who's facing some kind of challenge, mm -hmm. right? Uh, collectively, right? Yep. Who, who are you more um, motivated to try to help and speak up and why? Um, we, I said about this before that I'll be more motivated to speak about somebody that I actually have an affinity and a connection with. Right. So I don't really look at the skin complexion. Very important. Right. I just know that if you're my brethren, yeah. you could be black, Asian, white, whatever the case is, yeah. yeah. You're my brethren, yeah. I'm gonna look out for you. But I'm packing. You're, you're under my protection, right? All right. That's your brethren, right? That's, my That's brethren. an individual. Yeah. But I'm saying Yeah, your so, your brethren's from Ireland yep. and, and, and and in Congo they're being oppressed, right? Yep. Do you look out for the Irish uh, uh, struggle in Ireland yep. or the Congolese struggle in Congo? Okay, personally, I wouldn't look out for anybody's struggle. Right. Yeah, because I don't care about it. And I'm, I'm going to... Let me just say, let's, let's just make sure we're clear, yeah? I'm going to speak, I don't care. But what I really mean is, I know I don't have the power to affect change. Right. So I'm not going to um, put too much mind on trying to change whatever's going on in Ireland but, yeah or but that's high level Congo. change in it yeah there's always small level change in it which we can break so high level change is small if level I change. have no Congolese brethren yeah which I do yeah if I have no Congolese brethren right. let's say Australian black Aboriginal black let's go there because I don't have no connection okay, with them, yeah? yeah so if there was an Aboriginal black and there was a English white person and their people was going through a problem yeah yeah, based upon, I don't know, wherever they, it is, yeah? And I have a connection to that person because I grew up with them, yeah. childhood and so forth. Yeah. I would look out for that before I would look out for somebody I, else. I, I hear that, but the, the question is, in a foreign land we yeah. call Congo, yeah. in a foreign land we call um, Argentina. Islands. Argentina. Okay, Argentina. Uh, yeah. Argentina, right? Yeah. For some reason, European... Let's go Cuba, let's go Cuba. Uh, Cuba, that's, yeah. That's, that's Europe, Europe, closer, European yeah. Argentina, yeah, yeah. Uh, Cubans yeah, yeah. are being mistreated yeah. for a reason. Yep. And a black Congolese are being mistreated. No, 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 that's a Congolese. What, what was it? Aboriginal Ab Australian. Uh, Aboriginal Australian. Okay, yep. cool. So you want to go there? Yep. Uh, yeah. Which one, uh, for, which one are, you, are, you, are you more invested in? I would say none of them. Unless I have a connection with them. I hear that. But it, and if I have no right. connection with none of them, right, right. then it will be none of them. Right, right. But if I if for example they're facing a problem that is dear to me, right. so for example, racism, right. white supremacy, Arab which supremacy, they are, which they are, so go yeah, from there, go Arab from there. supremacy, go from there. Or any um, racism, then I would be more likely to be looking out for the Aboriginal. Right. So so you've kind of answered the question then. As in if you break down why we look out for the needs of others, there's many reasons why we do, right? Yeah. One, because we face a similar struggle historically, right? Yeah. But two, when it looks at resources, you'll find that black collectives, right, have less resources, yeah. right? So because we have less resources, whenever we have to govern our time, which is a resource, mm -hmm. do we give it to the people group that has more of a resource or the people group that has less of a resource? Okay. And then in, in all times, black people have less of a resource. Plus, we're connected through similar challenges historically. Yeah. So I'm saying that that's the logic of the black betterment logic or yeah. the pan-African logic or that any kind of uh, pro-black logic that is used. Yeah. That's how I address it, right? Yeah. 
So what I'm not saying is, if you have a friend who's uh, what do you say, Argent uh, Cuban, Cuban yeah. so that, uh, and he's here, mm -hmm. and now that means you're now going to be fully invested in Cubans or uh, European Cubans in Cuba because you have one Cuban friend here, but no Aboriginal friend there, or no Nigerian friend there, or no Congolese friend there. So I already said, yeah. I would not be uh, invested in any of them, regardless if I know you or not, right? Yeah. But just to say, if I was to be, right. yeah, it would be them. I only care, again, right. I only care yeah. if I'm going to try to affect change with people that I know and come from the same cultural background as me and are in problems and troubles in this country. So, That's my focus, I'm yeah. saying in the park, yeah. that is my main focus. So for you, it isn't, a, it isn't like a, a, a black uh, concept, it's more of a humanitarian concept for you. I would say it's more of a cultural concept. Right. So right. culturally, yeah. Yeah, I would be more inclined to help black people and I only define black people as those who are descendants of enslaved Africans. Right. Yeah. And those are the blacks right. with inside of America. Right. Those are the blacks with inside of South America. Right. Those are the blacks with inside of Caribbean. And those are the blacks from either, either those locations that have migrated to the UK. Specifically those in the UK. Those are the only ones that I have a concern for. Right. That I'm going to try to uh, engage with and help. So it's diaspora Africans via the slave trade, but it's the pa the pa um, the trade. yeah the 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 the, uh, the European slave trade, yeah. not the Arab slave trade, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. Is it asked? Is it right if I ask why the personalized concern? The personalized concern, as in the shift from Kalam 1.0 to Kalam 2.0. Because my evolution has realized that a lot of the things that we protest for yeah, are simply just empty words. And what have we what can we show for it? So I want to say that I want to create an institution in the UK that leaves a legacy behind for actually practically helping people. Rather than just saying these sweet words like I'm Pan African, Pan African, yeah. pro this, yeah. and I'm talking for like 20 years, but there's nothing tangible I can show that how I've helped people in Ghana, Congo, Sierra Leone, etc. But when you say, you're not talking about an institution for Afro descendants, you're talking about for people. Is that right? You're not talking about an institution for Afro descendants, or descendants of enslaved Africans. You're talking about an institution for all people. No, I would want to create something for the. Um, for the descendants of enslaved Africans okay, in so this country. Okay, so at least on that level, we're, we're correlating. Yeah, yeah. At least that you're identifying a particular group yeah. that has gone to challenges. I'm right? niching down so much here. Yeah? I'm only concerned with descendants of enslaved Africans who are even um, Gen Z. Those are my main concerns. So, oh, so it's more younger African people. Right. Younger Black, descendants yeah. of African enslaved yeah. Africans. Yeah. That would be my, if I really want to affect change mm. at a much more um, impactful way, yeah. those would be my main concern only. So the last start I practice for Black Bearman, it talks about black people uh, coming together to form solutions, right? Under that concept, that can still work mm -hmm. because you can divide tasks down to I'm going to focus on the women, I'm going to focus on the people in Scotland, I'm going to focus, you know what I mean? Yeah. So as long as you're not mistreating other black people, mm -hmm. then that can work. Yeah. So I can't argue against that concept, right? Mm -hmm. that, that's just my own answer to that. Yeah. But ultimately, the, 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 the collective concept of black people in the UK and mm -hmm. the world coming together to make institutions for black needs is a primary, yeah. very important. Mm -hmm. So at least on that level, we're calling. You have to ask another question. You see the organization, how would it carry out the activities you want to carry out? Have you thought that far ahead or you just got the rough idea of the organization? I would say that we would have to come together. We would have to have a, um, a manifesto or how can I put it? It would be set up like an organization. So you have the uh, MO, what's the MO? The operator's memorandum. Yeah. You have all those things there. You will set out the organization. You will have the different roles, people in the positions, etc., etc., and you will run the, the the business of the cars of the organization as such. But to say the the in particulars, that's something that we'll have to come together to do. So it's a collective effort. So it's not yeah. you heading up the organization. Oh no 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 no! I I, I don't like to head it in. <laughs> I like to be in the background. I'm forced by Italian TV to be in the foreground. Mm. Usually, if any Everybody knows Kalam before Kalam Titans TV 1.0. I'm in the backgrounds. I'm running things from the backgrounds, affecting change 
in Britain, culturally, that you will never know that I'm affected mm. because I like to be in the background. Yes. That's it. Okay, okay. So what we learned, we've learned, um, so the, the topic we were talk, talking about was, should black people uh, in the UK be uh, concerned about black people or so-called black people in other lands? We've got Kalam's perspective, but we haven't got um, Lewis's, Lewis's perspective. perspective. So yeah. you, why would you meet that? Yeah, just, just. yeah, my perspective as a Garvey Pan-African, African centered is that we should, if we can, everybody be have at least a thought of what black people are going through internationally and if it's not a thought contribute money just go over there if we can because as kalam said it shouldn't just be empty words and i think when we go over there it should be purposeful if we're going to link up with people link up with people on the ground not just talk it's like okay there's a family over there i can help them or there's a powerful family over there let me integrate with them or even if it's through music if i do music connect on the ground with the people with the music i think from the garvey and african perspective is that we're better unified but it's also who are we unifying with we've got to know who we're unifying with because as garvey said can't take everyone back to africa mm -hmm. but on the flip side not all good not all black people are good people and it's like that might be through mental side self psychological impairment whatever so it's like education if we can and just bare different ways mm -hmm. but i think kalan's perspective plus our perspective marrying up is where perfection happens i think if one did the one and then one did the other it's like we're lacking and that's what's kind of happened yeah. some people try to do change in the uk have done great things in the uk but no one talks about it mm -hmm. but then on the flip side some people are going over into whether it's ghana ethiopia and doing all the work and they're not being helped yeah. so both have to happen concurrently at the same time okay very good response from brother lewis there yeah so i think i think one thing we can do right is seeing um, easy wins mm -hmm. but sometimes helping looks like impossible and it takes up time, right? Mm -hmm. Before the camera started, we were talking about easy wins, right? Mm -hmm. So for example, I'm here hiring black people to do Project 7, right? Yeah. I might run out of resources here and I need to hire someone internationally or outside of England or London. Yeah. I have a book. Mm -hmm. I look at the Nigerian, the Caribbean, the thingy, and on that book, I'm going through it and I'm hiring people in different lands. Mm -hmm. And obviously, different lands have different prices. So there's also a benefit as well yeah. of maybe not using that at a certain point. Yeah. So that could be one sort of way of integrating black struggles, African struggles or whichever, yeah, into your day-to-day -day, uh, mechanism of helping black people. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, so easy wins. 100%. Right? Because, yeah. by the way, we were talking, it was like sometimes we can't help others because we can't be in the government or we can't have a million pounds. Yeah. But if I, if every time I need an international artist, mm -hmm. I hire this guy mm -hmm. and I'm going to pay someone anyway because I've got the budget, yeah. bear it, if it's not a black person here, a black person there. That should be a little a slogan. If not a black person here, then a black person there. Would that be a good slogan? 100%. Yeah. yeah? Okay. Yeah. So this is what Can we're I saying. The question? Go ahead, bro. What's your name? Oh, no, don't worry about that because it's a secret. It's bigger than too far. Is it? No, no, I don't, I don't want to be a camera. Can you, can you hear it? Can you hear it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So basically, what, what my question is, do you feel us black people, we lack accountability within ourselves, within the black community? Like in certain aspects, yeah, we do. In certain aspects, I agree with you. In certain aspects. Is there something you observe that makes you make that statement? Yeah, it's got to be a specific thing. There is, yeah. Go ahead. Um, for example, in the UK, like for example, knife crime, yeah. black people are always quick to blame. We're quick to, we're quick to blame society. We're quick to blame um, the parents. We're quick to blame ourselves. Um, other, other like government agencies, police, uh, school teachers. We're quick to blame external sources rather than taking accountability and looking up within ourselves and saying, you know what, black people should do better. Young black kids should be looked at a bit more better. You know, stop carrying knives, stop joining gangs. That's, that's let me add you, let, let me add you, you made a good point. Yeah. So I, I practice a life sometimes black bear, right? Yeah. And to, to, to what you're saying, there's levels. So part of uh, the, 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 the starting statement of the lifestyle practice acknowledges that black people are collectively inadequate, right? So we accept that there's many things that has been done to us that's rendered us almost uh, ch uh, challenged when it comes to working as a team to fix solutions, right? If you're aware of the problem and you're making no effort to change it, then you at some point are connected, yeah? Because it's easy to have drive-by criticism where we say, shame on the young man who does the guns and shame on the young man who does the drugs. But if we're not part of a process to remedy it, then all we do is complaining. So as a black bearer, I agree, black people are collectively inadequate. But Black Burma is that process, right? Where we try to push from error-prone behavior, yeah, to high principle behavior. So we have a complete concept of how we can achieve that. So being constructive is impossible. We promote black, constructive black families. That is a constructive black man marrying a constructive black woman, all right? We talk about, we also talk about um, 
black health, making sure that we're as healthy as possible, so we're not dying off, right? But then we also talk about black economics. So those black families and groups are networking with other black families and groups to create in industries and institutions that are dedicating to educating black boys and girls who might feel it makes sense to run around for knife. If a person is doing that, they don't have a pillar in their mind. They don't have something that ba bounds them to something. Black betterment is that pillar. Yeah, by giving them self-esteem, self-pride, and something to die for or live for, that's the answer. So, so I agree with you, black people are collectively inadequate. And because of that, that's why you have knife crime. But the solution is black Berman. But it doesn't work, it works with all black people. Let's talk about London coming together to fix that, but not just by saying the thing and then driving off. Yeah, anyone want to add to that? Because yeah, I, I just want to add to it. Um, I agree with everything Raven's saying. I also think, in particular communities, there are, for example, elders who maybe used to participate in knife crime who go back into the community and are doing it. So a lot of it gets yeah, lost yeah. because a lot of that isn't promoted. Even someone like Raspet, who people have mixed opinions about, the work he's doing it on the whoever family side is part of trying to solve the problem and yeah. going into these communities and helping out. So I think sometimes we can get lost in the big picture, not seeing some of the individual stories. So yeah. I agree with you. Some of us do need to take more of accountability, but there's it takes a combination of bigging up the people who are doing the work and us um, ourselves also doing the work, not just complaining from afar. I'm not saying you're doing that, but a lot of us would like to shout from the rafters and not talk about yeah. and not actually actively get involved. Does that yeah. make sense? So, yeah. so what you identified is, is, is a, a, a two-stage problem, right? There's the problem of the act, but there's a problem of, uh, and, and, and then you're saying us not talking about that actual problem. But the second one is us not doing anything about it. So right, we can mention it, but if we mention it but don't do anything about it, there's a problem. But black betterment is a holistic solution, right? So the brother is saying that there are people doing good works, but you don't know their name. So what does that mean? That means we need to have black institutions that promote that work. So when you come here and you go, we need more uh, institutions like the Stop the Knife Search, Forever Family, whatever it is, right? And that's why we need brothers and sisters to be black invested in black first. Yeah, so you got Yeah, black, yeah. black, uh, black invested in black first, right? Very important. That's why getting, giving a pillar for, for black people to stand on is the key, right? And that's why black pride, black first, black initiative, all this kind of stuff, it sounds like a branding, branding thing, but it really does work. Right now, these guys are doing it. They don't have anything to stand for apart from an error-prone philosophy. Someone has shown them they can make money or get some kind of clout, a family brotherhood in this way, and they're willing to die for nothing. So what we're gonna say is, why don't you die for something? So for example, if you're willing to kill another person over, let's say, a block or some kind of uh, disagreement, why don't you die to defend the black lady from racism from this racist group? Why don't you die with honor rather than die with shame? You see? And that's, 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 that's how I approach it. Okay. Yeah? Do, 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 you think, do you think we as black people, for example, do you think we're oppressed in like Western societies? Do you think we're that like, oppressed? I think, I think black people are in an impressive, uh, I, I, yeah, I do think there's a pressure going on. I think there's a dynamics depending on the black person you talk to. But overall, if you, if you, if you compare the livelihood of black people everywhere, you find that black people are in a more of a collective oppressed state than others. You know, the, the ratio varies, but generally, uh, the history and legacy of white supremacy and racism affects every black person. And no matter what group you, you, you talk about who's identified as black, I will show you how it affects them. Do you, do you know, one thing that fascinates me is, um, and one thing that I've observed is I've always seen two different sides of the uh, black community. You've got the African community, you've got the Caribbean community. Right. I've always I've ever observed the African community uh, complaining less about their situation and just moving on forward and just doing what they're supposed to do, moving up in, in the ladder. Where the Caribbean community sort of blame external sources. Okay, like two things. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, give yeah. examples. Give, no, let me give examples. Give like, examples. Like, yeah, I like that one. Yeah, let, we'll, we'll all jump on it one by one. Go true. Ahead. Now go on, go on, go on. You have yeah, yeah, no, finished? Yeah, I finished. Yeah, yeah. I say this, right? The truth is, Africans have something to complain about and Afro-Caribbeans have something to complain about. But the truth of the matter is, Afro-Caribbeans, you tend to find, are much more closely rooted to the problem, right? So because we're more closely rooted to the problem, we can see a challenge. So when we come to our African brothers and sisters, we say, I know you want to have a white Jesus figure. I know you want to have this white savior complex, but we know that that isn't going to get us anywhere. We've tried it, didn't work, right? And also we noticed that there might be tribalisms going on in certain parts of Africa. It, look, it sounds like a good idea, but we've tried it, it doesn't work. So we have an experience to teach the African brothers. Where the African brothers have something to teach us is if you find them uh, here, that means 
there, there's, there's uh, collective groups that they're part of that culturally teach them how to progress. So those, big up brother, those concepts they can bring to us. Yeah. So we have a learning experience we can give you and you have learning experience. So what we do, rather than saying, look at those Caribbeans, look at those Africans, brother, you have experience, I have experience, let's build. We call this Black Bearman, brother. Black Bearman, you yeah, see? Of course, yeah, yeah. Anyone want to add to that? Go ahead. Yeah, I think the different types of oppression are indicative in how they've reacted to trauma. So in the reaction to trauma, the Caribbeans were physically taken from where they're meant to be, displaced into a land they're not meant to be at and now have had to adapt. Whereas Africans, despite being colonised in like a settled colonial this environment, have retained a lot of their culture, whereas Caribbeans have had to relearn and like re africanize certain parts of their culture and have kind of felt, I'm speaking as a Caribbean, like there's African retentions in Caribbean culture, but it's not an entirely African culture. Does that make sense? So how Caribbean people react is might be more abrasive, whatever, is indicative of their enslavement. Whereas colonization has effect mainly West Africans and East Africans, so they kind of express it in a different kind of way. And they've kind of because they came later as well, if you look at during um, Windrush, mainly the Caribbean people came first and then a lot of doors were opened by the Caribbean people mm. that the African people were maybe to integrate into society. But on, it, it's, it's kind of a, yeah, it's a difficult conversation. You, said, you, gave, you gave a very good answer, bro. Very yeah. good that's answer. That's a very good answer. Sorry. This is what well I said. But, yeah. But, no, 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 no. but essentially, that's kind of where we at with it. So it's not so much, if you even pre the Indians, the Indians have might have settled in but because their homeland is built up, it looks a certain kind of way. It's like, okay, but they have curtailed and bowed to a certain extent. But with the Africans, Africans putting their head down and doing well in one aspect is not indicative of them doing super well in the grand scheme of things. Because if you look back to certain parts of their homeland, it might not be as built up as it should have been because they focus too much on building here. Does that make sense? But it's all different perspectives. Now, come on, well, well, you said it for me anyway. <laughs> I will, I'm, let me say something controversial because it's going to get the clicks, right? Yeah. All right? Somalians. Somali. Somali. Somalis. Yeah? Is that the right term? <laughs> From so. Somaliland? Yeah. yeah? Good term. Cool. Let me start over again. Somalis are not black. They're going to love that on your channel. They're not black. <laughs> We're doing this. What are they then? They're Somalis. Somalis. Yeah, you bet. There you go. <laughs> West Africans. Oh, no, 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 no. Let, me, let me continue. Let me continue. Yeah? Yeah. West Africans, etc. You're not black me. Yeah? You're African and you're part of whatever country you're from and you have a particular culture and ethnicity. Are you black? No, let me land, my chin. Let me land, right? Land, 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 land. Yeah? Because yeah. what we get confused, yeah? Just like the BLM, we get confused with the slogan of Black Lives Matter and the organization Black Lives Matter. We get confused with the dark complexion of our skin and the cultural um, blackness as well. There is a culture which is called the black culture. And I spoke about this. And I'm not speaking on my own behalf, right? My teacher, my, my doctor, my professor, whatever the case is at uni, she wrote a book called Towards Bicultural Competence, right? And she talks about it. It says that descendants of enslaved Africans are black. They were, cre they were given a culture that was created yes. specifically for them in contradistinction towards a white culture that was created for the enslavers. Prior to being white, you were Welsh, you were whatever you are, you're Scottish, whatever the case is, but now you took on a whole cultural identity of being white. You're not white neither. There, you have a other cultural identity. Now as Caribbeans, Americans and so forth, right? We have lost our cultural identity of being African. And we're handicapped. And then we're also given, yeah, a victim. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're given a victim mentality, yeah, from the get go. Because our foundation myth or our foundation story is that. I can agree on that. I can agree on that. Is that of but, slavery? But, but you think so, so we, we, we're saying they're not black? Yeah. He, 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 uh, just, he, he just said the entire Africa. Is that the whole Africa then? I'm, I'm saying yeah. the whole of Africa. Not they're not yeah, black. That's, that's his, they're they're Africans. Africans. Yeah. He, I, 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 he said the Somalis <laughs> are not black because there's been some controversy, controversy on the channel. Yeah, yeah, he's got his yeah. But all right, let me, let me land on this one. So 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 this is why we have to separate blacks from everybody else. Because we blacks, as in Caribbeans here, over here in the UK, we're dealing with a specific trauma that the others aren't dealing with. Is, and right. they can see it. I can see, them. I see, I see yeah. where you're going, we can build, that's a good build, right? In America, they're, they're doing a similar thing, right? Yeah. So in America, they're saying, yeah. because there's so many um, Af um, uh, Nigerians, uh, Ghanaians, mm -hmm. and, and other African Somalis going to America, mm -hmm. uh, they're saying that we want a word that, that, that separates 
um, the, 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 yeah, the heritage, so we can keep our culture and promote culture, right? Yeah. I'm not against that. Not against but what I'm saying is, like but, <laughs> so, <laughs> so however we want to rebrand words, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. But when we, well, I'm saying that we're using black as as a placement, right? Yeah. Yeah. And when we find out what this word is going to be, we can replace it. Yeah. But yeah. right now, when you come to UK. They have IC3, right? Yep. And IC3 is all Sub-Saharan Africa is put in one place. Mm -hmm. So the government, who actually were part of the, 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 the delegation, yep. have said this. Now we can say, I hear that, mm -hmm. I'm saying, black diasporans lose nothing mm -hmm. by having a stage two connection with people in the motherland. Yeah, no problem. Yeah? Now if you think they're naming, fine. So we can say they could be... I'm just saying that we have to identify that we're a different cultural uh, group with without, a different heritage. With, without question. That, that's what we, we agree. Yeah. I think the Afro-Caribbeans, the Afro-Americans, the Afro-Brazilians, all of us, there, there's, there's concepts that connect us mm -hmm. and concepts that makes us different. Yeah. But the same thing then with the brothers on the continent, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yeah. And how, how they relate to each other. A Somali knows he's Somali mm -hmm. and, and an Igbo knows he's Igbo, right? Yeah. But they understand they're both black African or, yeah. or sub-Saharan African, however you want to call it. Mm -hmm. Same with the diaspora. But our ancestors, the Caribbeans, the ones who knew better than us, mm -hmm. said there is a value in networking with the brothers and sisters on the continent. 100%. And because of that, we integrate this concept within black betterment, pan-Africanism, B1, and every single concept that, that pushes black people globally and locally to move forward. Yeah. Hope that was a good answer for everyone there, right? Very political one. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I've, I agree with you in terms of faction. The mm -hmm. only thing is, it's dangerous with the division because sometimes the name can invite divisiveness. Yeah. Does that make sense? I think what's important is that if there's separation of heritage, that the ideology is working towards similar or the same goals. Yep. Yes, we might have different problems in certain areas, but it should be a unifying aspect to it. Because yep. what happens is sometimes, like we've seen in the FBA, some of the FBA have been spewing hateful rhetoric mm -hmm. towards brothers and sisters yep. on the continent and in the Caribbean yep. and disassociating that's themselves. Like. Like. And, that's what I don't and, like. and that's <laughs> what I think is important to, to make a distinction of different maybe cultural heritage or not make a distinction between shared experience. Like even we react well, well, shared experience is different as well. Yeah, it is a different But we but need to find something that actually connects all of us. Because even in we're talking about the same event with different results. Like sla enslavement affected all, all people who were taken that in the same way people were taken mm -hmm. people were left mm -hmm. so families were split up does that make sense yep. so as much as they have had a different experience it's the same cultural stimulus if that makes sense you, you've done a buzzword i have to jump in mm -hmm. when the brother says something that connects us i think that's a good point mm -hmm. i'm saying what connects us is the lifestyle black better i need to work with other brothers and sisters to move forward but as we said last week, this brother was here, that word is synonymous. Black Berman is synonymous with African advancement, if that word confuses. It's a concept where... It's the same thing. Yeah, it is. We don't want to take away the Afro-Caribbean experience or the African-American or the Afro-Nigerian or whatever it might be. Yeah, but we understand that there is a value in coming together. And that's what I think the boy here. Now, we're joined by many brothers brothers here. I have something to say on that. You most certainly yeah. can. Yeah, I have something to say on that. I feel like my personal experience right. growing up in Africa, in Senegal, Everything that's been said so far is very true, but I, I, I would like to just like sum it up to one word. And I feel like all the experience that you guys are sharing are just tied up to one thing, which is unfortunately for me, violence. Like all of those, mm. like all of these I've been talking to, like trauma. The, it's like trauma, mm. violence, and 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 I feel like to go on your point as well, mm. black betterment. That's something that we should actually uh, make sure that we understand that it's coming from violence and like the borders and everything because like I'm coming, I'm coming from I'm coming from Senegal mm. right now the point we are in our society as a group as a country mm. is is uh, we are at the turning point mm. so like my personal view on where my my country should go mm. I think we should literally like go to uh, war mm. if you understand my country right now we should go to now there's all the country that might be in all the time frame and everything well, all of this is tied up to violence and in this in this in this realm it's very hard to make sense of it it's very hard to make sense of violence in its own way caribbean is not going to make sense of it the same way we do but i understand that you you guys have to understand that it's hard for us to make you understand where we're coming from this dialogue this dialogue is very hard because we there's a, there's a bridge in terms of how are you going to receive what I'm trying to say, even though I'm trying to be calm about it. You understand? And all of this is very, is very hard because there's so many levels to it. Mm. I love my current brothers, mm. but
but at the same time there's a big separation in between in between what we had to go through as as a collective. No, we agree. Like yeah, we, like, we are like, agree. Like, with like, if, if out, like, there's a, a, a true breach, there's a mm. true cleavage in between, separation, in, be, yeah. uh, uh, in between how we experience and your experience, mm. I feel. I want to right. correspond in the woodwork something, so. Okay, yeah. I, I wanted to that's, throw that's, one that's, as well. That's, that's, and, and if we, everything could be tied up to one specific thing, one single point, my question is, what will it be? Like, what, so, so, so what is your... Before you jump in, yeah, yeah. I'll say this, right? Before you came, we were talking about this concept of diaspora involvement in, in, in black foreign struggles, right? Yeah, yeah. If you are a black brother in, in Senegal, yeah. and you people come together, and your elders and the people who knows best are yeah. telling you that you're being oppressed so much that this is the outcome, right? Yeah. We'll support it. We'll go, we support it for our heart and tears and love, right? Yeah. That's what we do. So we'll be on your side in wanting you to do well. Yeah. Yeah. So we, we, we won't necessarily have to be there, but that's what you're saying that we won't understand. We don't need something. We don't understand is, your elders have told you that this is the best thing to do. It's not it'd be hard because Senegal is 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 the second darkest country on. I'm not a colorist. Yes. I'm not a colorist. I'm not trying to be. Mm -hmm. But that is the second darkest country on on earth. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. First one is South Sudan. Yes. Mm -hmm. Second one is us. You yeah, understand? I, 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 so even me in my country, I'm light skin. Yeah, okay. You understand? Mm -hmm. So like, a, no, but it's true. Yes. In my country, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, light skin yeah, in my yeah, country. Uh -huh. You understand? Mm -hmm. So the, en so like the, ener no, no, the, the energy, the way you're gonna, the way, the energy comes to you and how you cannot uh, capture it in order to make sense is too late for you already. Right. It's already too late for you because you can't even see it, you can't even smell it, you well, can't I, even I, smell I, it because I, 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 remember, it's, on, your it's person, onto you, it's oh. onto you before you even know. This is a good point. Yeah. Hold on, this so is like, so like it, It's almost animalistic. Yeah. You understand? But, so like you have, so that's 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 the fact I'm talking about, like being like Caribbean and, and African because I'm. I'm, I'm, even though I'm not trying to be rude, no. it's always come, going to come out as, as rude. It won't be, listen. You know what I mean? Hold on, hold on. Brother, brother, hold on. Hold on. We, we spoke two weeks ago, three weeks ago, right? Yeah. You're free to say what you're in hell. Yeah. The thing is, a lot of the things you say might actually correlate with our, our beliefs. Yeah. And if you were here before, so first of all, regardless of how dark you are, uh, 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 the nation you are, yeah. we're Caribbean. Yeah. Do your thing, innit? Yeah. We're going to do our thing, you do your thing now. There is a mutual, um, there is a mutual benefit, as sure. in the def descendants of African from this part, you know, those from that part. Yeah. But if you want to lead and do your thing, we don't care how dark you're going to do it. We're, we're not going to fly over. Yeah. We're, we're going to give you support, and if you come to us, we'll give you the best advice we can, and maybe some aid here and there. Yeah. But we're not going to dictate to you because that's your country, your land, yeah. and, and your elders should tell you best. Yeah. But if they're talking about mm -hmm. darkness and dark that, then they might be leading you on a path but that we know. Hold on, we finish. We know better than the whole dark. We know no, better no, than what we call tribalism. No, no, no. That, well, go no, ahead. No, that's not the point. I know, the right. point is that it's a very dark country, but the problem as well, it's a very young country as well. Okay. It's a very so what? Like, there's a, young, it's young, a young, young country. Right, right, right. Like there's like majority of people that are under 30s. Yeah, you know, yeah, so yeah, like yeah. there's a problem in Africa with youth as well. Yeah, 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 like yeah. And, and the lack of elders yeah. and the lack of well, That's the problem. That's what we can help you. But I think that's, a big, that's, what a, big, that's a big thing. Mm. And do that two major things you guys are really need the elders really need to do better with it. Yeah, I agree with that. Did you want to you want to talk about Africa? You wanted to get clickbait, so yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I want to how can I put it? Advance Rap Ravens Black First theology mm. what is it theology. no it's theology what black is it? people helping black people black issues whenever it's constructed ideology ideology, ideology. ideology. There yeah. we go. ideology. it's a lifestyle but go ahead okay lifestyle yeah. i want to just elevate it a little bit yeah? go ahead but i want you to correct me if yes. i'm wrong yes right okay cool i think that descendants of enslaved africans yes descendants of colonized africans yes and other africans in this country the uk specifically should come together under the pan-african ideology or the Black First ideology. Yes. African Centre. Af African Centre. Whatever you yeah. want to call yeah. it. Yeah. But focus individually on your own cultural group to, how can I put it, preserve your cultural identity and to elevate your social economic uh, status all while still working with each other. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah but, that, that, but that's that. I can't tell you. Basically, like, yeah. elect, uh, you I elect, like, uh, uh, <laughs> that's what we're talking Yeah. yeah. But so, but so, if there's confusion, yeah, yeah, yeah. that is Black Bearman. Yeah. 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 Okay. Preserving your culture, preserving your group, your, your collective thing is part of it. Now, mm. what we're saying is at a certain point, you have to network. Yeah, at a certain point, together. you might not have something in this area. Who is the first group you look to? 
the people in this circle, right? Mm -hmm. So if I'm if I'm running a Caribbean institution and I need all these kind of decorators, um, builders, mm -hmm. naturally there's Caribbean people there. But it's like, you know what? We, we have 50% workforce we don't have. Let us ring the, the brothers from Nigeria, who's in London, the brothers from, from uh, Senegal, blah, blah, blah. Something, something. Go in, go in. Um, and you jump in next. Yeah. Jumping on what you said, yeah. electing people champions according to their, like tidying up to their uh, um, uh, um, culture. Yeah. I would like to know uh, how do you do it? Uh, there was like a talk about Anthony Joshua about, uh, he, was, he was saying that athletes weren't the, the, the best people to kind of talk mm -hmm. for their community. Yeah. And I have a question for you. What, which group of people do you think uh, are the best people to talk for their, for their culture? Okay. Athletes, okay. politics, no, no, uh, no, no, no. intellectuals? But here's what it is. We've got, well, there's a black bear an answer to that, but you guys might want to go first. Yeah, well, okay. yeah. I think because of our oppression and by design, yeah. they made the entertainers and sports stars the best people to talk because they have the biggest platform. Yeah. But I think the entertainers and sports stars should be discussing with scholars, community leaders, people on the ground. That's what should be happening because they should be the people informed because they're the people on the ground talking to the people who've done the research, who have the link. Does that make sense? That makes sense. And to answer your question, I you want to, you to elaborate on it as I'm much as possible. Like, oh, yeah. yeah, so so we have the actual solution. Because, like, kind of like, because I think if Anthony Joshua spoke to a scholar yeah. or a, even a Rasput or someone who's in a community like that, yeah. he'd have a more informed decision yeah. because he's not informed able to decision, be yeah. he's not able to be on the ground because he's Anthony Joshua, he's a superstar. Yeah. He doesn't have the same time they have to talk to the mothers, the aunties. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. To know what to do with his resource because they have the resource because they've been given it through their sports achievements or their music achievements or their entertainment achievements, but they have the wherewithal to know where to but use the resource. Let me be controversial with that. Go on. Do you think like a homeless person that is every day outside not a homeless person. and like in contact with the people who have more, uh, has more credibility mm -hmm. than somebody that is in a building no. overseas? Hold on. Be before about, we right. get the, uh, the philosophy, because good philosophy and stuff, yeah. what we're saying is Black Betterman yeah. is a lifestyle, right? Yeah. Now, within that lifestyle, we're pushing forward what we call Black Betterment custodians, right? Yeah. Right. Meaning that anything that's a public-facing uh, discussion as it pertains to black people, we culturally want to train people to look for the black custodians. Now, those black custodians have to have certain. Uh, it's just like if you're religious, yeah. you have to have you have to have a certain uh, uh, um, knowledge of religious background to yeah. become an imam or a priest, right? Yeah. The black bear custodians have to have a certain uh, amount of unity and uh, his uh, uh, history to understand that. Here's my concept for black people: uh, being era, uh, being uh, high principled, yeah. black families, black health, black economics, um, being constructive, black centered. Uh, and, and learn it in, in, in the ancestors in the past who gave us the right direction. Yeah. Those people we know as the, as the black custodians. So when the microphone is put in front of a, a football player yeah. who just plays football, he can say, well, I, 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 can, I can give you my opinion, but really you want to talk to the black custodian and then we have the, co the concept of black custodians yeah. speak for black people. Now, before I, before I jump on, Malcolm X and these people said the same thing. In the States, why they always going to comedians and sport athletes to hear um, black issues? When you go to Jewish people, it's actual people dedicated to that uh, position, the Arabs, leaders. yeah. This is a strategy from, uh, from, from people who try to undermine black progress to let people who know the least yeah. uh, have the most time, yeah. So if that homeless man is, is learned as a black bearer and he's decided to be homeless or whatever it is, then we will push him forward because of his knowledge and not his actual um, housing condition. Oh, okay. go ahead. Well, I did one. Okay, okay, so, okay, so let me jump in now. Yeah. <laughs> Maza, <laughs> to me now. Massive, the camera. Come on. Oh, yeah. Remote control. <laughs> All right, so yeah, for me, you would need first the institution, the organization. Yeah. Let's just call it Black Betterment. That's what yeah. we're going to call yeah. it. We're going to call it Black Betterment. We have the institution. Yeah. Now let's create, we know the planning, we know what it's about, right? We now create the subdivisions, yeah. right? So for me, the subdivision would be the different countries. So for example, Grenada, Trinidad, mm -hmm. Ghana, Nigeria, blah, yeah. blah, blah, yeah. whatever it is, okay. right? We've got the different departments. Yeah. Now with inside of those, yeah, yeah. if there's different ethnic, ethnic groups, we could have those as well inside okay. of it, right? We need to have a leader that's put in place. Elected. Right? Elected leader that's put in place. Yeah. We need to now have membership. And I would say you should collect- Membership. Membership. Okay. Collect money. If it's a pound a month, from everybody within inside of your constituents, mm -hmm. yeah? If you are Jamaican, 
right? There's a Jamaican department. Collect money from if you're in West London, all the West Londons, yeah. right? people who let come from West London who says they want to be part of this community. Community, yeah. Give the money. No, that person who's in charge, yeah, they're given the, that is them. They're the CEO of Jamaica dealing with black betterment issues, right? Mm -hmm. Within there, you will have the sub forums or the subdivisions again, yeah? right. that deal with a specific element. If it's marketing towards, or, or propaganda towards, I don't know, um, Do we have like a knife crime, yeah. right? Yeah. We now need to know who are the people that's gonna be involved with knife crime. Yeah, yeah. We need the intellectuals, we need the scholars, we need the speakers, mm -hmm. we need the athletes, Facts. we need the celebrities, we need everybody, right? Let's create a marketing plan that's going to tackle one issue called knife crime, okay. right? And each uh, department or each um, nationality within inside of the, the border picture will deal with it and set our whole propaganda for however long it takes. Are we trusting people within their own ability or are we setting up like a directorate of standards with this one person mm -hmm. that is alien to all of this, that is coming to check if things that are making are, are made properly. There's definitely someone to check. Then oh, I so agree with that. Like, we need like so like we need like a directorate of, of standards. Yeah. Somebody that knows the business brothers, but yeah. have nothing to do with his own point. Yeah. Oh love bro. Good hear you bro. Good to hear you bro. Good to hear you. Good to hear you. Good to hear from the family there. Thank you family. We're on the right track. Yeah. The dialogue has been created. Yeah. So it's just a matter of time. There you go bro. Appreciate it bro. Appreciate it family. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're here for. Right. Yeah, so like we have like uh, so we definitely really creating like a directorate of standards that is yeah. coming uh, just to check that thing that done properly. I think it should be multiple. I shouldn't. I don't think it should be just be one. I okay. think it should be because that way they can reach everybody. Because if it's but, only one person, they can't reach everybody. First of all, let's get to that point though. Yeah, that's. Let's what actually get to the point. Okay, but like one thing as well that I'm very uh, uh, um, you're talking about athletes. I'm very very. I'm trying to get to some sort of like. That might be controversial, but like CIA, black CIA as well. If that could if be done. Intelligence is needed. Huh? Like, like, that. like, like, that, that, need that, that's literally what I'm coming. That, that's what I'm saying. That's literally what, what I'm trying happened. to do. I'm, I'm you're trying to do. You're trying to do like the black better man. Not, I'm trying to do like the CIA type of thing. But that, that's that, called that, intelligence. That come say, I'm not involved. <laughs> yeah, I, why? Down. Why? Come here. You're like, a joker. What Why not? What I'll say this, I agree with that we need our own form we of intelligence. That, intelligence, you know, intelligence is power. Intelli power so have you and applied intelligence is power. Go on. Have yeah. you ever heard of a think tank? <laughs> Bravo. Bravo. Have you ever heard of a think tank? Hey, listen. Don't, don't worry, man. You, you betting yourself out. Don't, don't worry, man. Like, yeah, I'm just like, staying in your place. He's, he's, he's Mr. Clickbait. Don't worry, he's Mr. Clickbait. He's, he's part of the CIA, bro. Have you heard of a think tank? Huh? Think tank. No. So, so basically. Same kind of it's thing. the same kind of thing, but yeah. it doesn't have to happen for, on a nation level, right? Okay, it can yeah. happen on a group level. Yeah. So someone is collecting information to give it to an organization or a collective. Yeah. So we know what's happening. Yeah. So the gathering of intelligence is something that's been going down since ancient time. Yeah. It's yeah. not controversial, right? So you have a people group that's affected some kind of strife or problematic, yeah. or you want to improve. You need to gather intelligence on who's doing it, how to stop it, yeah. and, and that's what, so what you're saying, that's, we will call a think tank. It's common yeah. sense. So, yeah. So, yeah so, it, there should be a think tank. And I would love to know if it's actually happening and I'm not aware of it. I don't know. But, but it, it definitely I'll, is. It, yeah, I'm saying, hey, I don't bro, know. Bro, I just don't here's know. Here's what it is, right? Yeah, you know what I mean? You're here. Yeah, yeah. This is an open universal kind of forum. Yeah. What happens is well, this is the outreach part. Yeah. So the idea is you see us at the outreach and you talk to us and then we take you to closed door conversations. Yeah. Closed door That's conversations important. are much more deeper, right? This is that we're saying buzzwords. So people go, oh, I've got an opinion. Like, you know, last week, uh, collectively inadequate, you go, oh, I've got an opinion. And then I say, come along. And then you go, oh, is that what you were saying? Because mm. it's like this. If you want black people to progress, that's your black people and their black people, whatever, then we're on the same page. Yeah. And that's it. At that's the end it. of the day, we come, we come here today, there is no black discussion at all. That's yeah? what I was talking yeah? about. I was looking for you. It, yeah. all yeah. the way. But that's why. All the way. I came here. Where did you guys? Boom. So what I'm saying is we are part of the process to make our corner a, a, a spectacle where black people, every time they come to Speaker's Corner, they're coming straight here. One thing as well I want to touch in is like the importance of, obviously you're, you're going a bit older, like to seduce the, the youth. Yeah. How do you guys are just going to just do that? I think to seduce the, the youth to actually do, you do that? Do you count yourself as a youth, yeah? Well, I'm 26. So do you see yourself as youth? No, I'm I'm, so my, I'm I'm in between, you know. Okay, so it's so it's basically. I'm telling you, how do you just yeah. bring? Yeah, it's, it's, I can. Yeah. The brother's gonna answer after yeah. me, but 
we're gonna give you our, our we're gonna give you our knowledge. You're gonna pass it down to the next. You're gonna pass it down to the next, right? Yeah. It goes for a channel. I'm gonna get it from the guys before me. Now, wherever there's a breakdown, we have to fill in the gaps. Unfortunately, some of our elders and youngers, like, but last week you might have seen some of them, or maybe a week before I can't remember, where they're just they've been educated in a way that isn't on a black betterment perspective. Yeah. So then they, they're now they disqualified themselves. Yeah. Any person who comes here, we're gonna realize, and this is not to point fingers. If someone comes here and they're constantly drive by criticizing and then they're saying it's bad, we're bad, we're bad and nothing we can do could be good then they might have already been uh, disqualified because they're defeated so we push it to the side, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's up to you to, to take, take that role and teach the younger generation constructive things and essentially Black Berman so I think there's a lot of uh, old ancient scholars they say they've got so many um, intelligent scholars but they don't have any marketeers and the reason why marketeers is important is people latch on to buzzwords um, marketing concepts and campaigns. Yeah. So the reason I come and I say Black Berman yeah. is because it's a campaign. Yeah. And you can actually mention it in, in a rap or you mention it on a news thing. The Black Berman is the Black Berman, you know what I mean? Yeah. Rather than saying, yeah, black people, we need to come together. It's like you actually uh, you have a thing yeah. and, and it means something. So we it's know a that. Buzzword, yeah, it's yeah. It's ready made. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's ready you made. see? And so, because black people will only take stuff that are ready made. It, I, it, it, you said it two weeks ago. That's, that's, that's that. exactly. That's, yeah, I've worked yeah, in marketing for 20 that. years. Yeah, yeah. So, so my my thing is to use marketing to help black people progress. But you wanted to say something. I, don't I just wanted to add to it. I said, yeah, just uh, add on to what Raven said. We are part of that, not just me and you, but yeah. the other young brothers and sisters. Yeah. Uh, when we know knowledge, we have to pass it on. Yeah. I'm a huge believer of that. You can't hoard knowledge for yourself because it's useless with just yourself. Yeah. There's no power in that. But if you have knowledge and you pass it on, like. I work in like the entertainment field, so cool. anytime I get uh, knowledge and I see a black person there, I give them the game. Because that's what I've got is useless for me. They need to know how to maneuver in this industry in the same thing as you're saying, black better man. Because yeah. that way we can help each other in this industry, yeah, yeah, yeah. let alone somewhere else. Does that yeah. make sense? It makes sense. So yeah. So that that's so. We, today we covered should black people uh, support black people in other lands, as well as uh, we moved on to um, uh, I guess plans of how to practice black betterment we were still from on, a nation we were, standpoint yeah, yeah we're still on like yeah. building a black uh, black empire yeah, yeah. building like yeah. a black time we'll so, sure that we yeah so so shall we say what we kind of agreed on and new new um, motivations and strategies and templates that there might be a value in a brother from Senegal brother from Caribbean brother from Nigeria all coming together in the London area or, or wherever you are in America wherever, or, or Canada or wherever and actually building there we go back, back, back from intelligence I'm back I'm back <laughs> building <laughs> um, a collective, but in that collective, you are still maintaining your cultural identity, your cultural collectiveness, but you understand the value of how to network amongst those collective. So, when people ask you who are black people, my, my, my buzzword response, right, if I can remember it, is a collection of a collection working for protection and perfection. Oh, that's hard. You see, like a collection of a collection oh, working for protection yeah. and perfection. You see, buzzwords, guy. campaign that works. That yeah. So that way, so what we do, we get people with different ideas seeing the value of coming together to keep their ideas, but also work. It, it, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Ones, right? yeah, so amazing. is there anything else before we call it? Is there anything else people want to cover before we call it? Quickly, quickly, I just want to just sum this up saying that part of the thing of blackness for me or Africanity is the shared ancestry. So as yes. much as it's like we have our differences that should be acknowledged, mm -hmm. the shared ancestry should be the, one of the major things, if not the major thing, yeah. that brings us all together. Like it doesn't have to be kumbaya around the table, yeah. but it's like, let's work through that. Like if we can't all be friends, let's work together. Cause not other groups, is, I think the misconception is that other groups are not friends. They just work things out. Yeah. It's like, yeah. okay, I don't have to like you, yeah. but this is the betterment of the group. Mm -hmm. Smart yeah. man, smart brother. So, Can you want to do your no, final no, thoughts? No, no, no. You good? I'm there, I'm good man. You want to end your final thoughts, brother? I'll say something in my language. Katambula koya la dure. Then gati le flocham ni bula la dinga amla wujub. That means when God is giving you power, mm. there's nothing you can, there's nothing else you can do if you want to be honest. Mm. So that means mm. when he give you when he give you something, mm. there's nothing else you can do but being honest. Mm. There's yeah. nothing else you can. When yeah. you are touched, you have to be open. There you go. So brothers at home, welcome to our corner. That's a big up the panel, big up the people here. Every week we come down here, if we're not here, you should do it. We want to take a, a, a corner and talk about black issues there and try to find solutions. So big up to the brothers. Until next week, Black Betterment, our corner. There you go. Oh, peace. Right. Well done, fam. Well good done, reason, brother. You done good. Good reason. You done good. You see? Yeah. I'm, I'm glad.